Hi everybody, John Nelson here to discuss options for work holding vices available from Haas Automation. We offer a range of different vice options, primarily divided into manual or automatic vices. The manual vices are all available on HaasTooling.com. We carry two basic styles, fixed jaw and self-centering. The fixed jaw vices have one stationary jaw and one movable jaw. On self-centering vices, both jaws move in and out simultaneously. So no matter the workpiece size, it will locate in the center of the vise along the axis of jaw movement. Fixed jaw vices securely clamp the workpiece and provide accurate, repeatable location. The vise jaws bolt on so they can easily be changed or reversed to add to the gripping options. Machinable jaws can be used to cut unique shapes on the gripping surfaces, so the vise can hold almost any shape workpiece. These vices are all made of hardened ductile iron and have precision ground surfaces. The fixed jaw vices are available in three jaw widths and two styles of bases. The jaws are four, six, and eight inches, or approximately 100, 150, and 200 millimeters wide. The flange base models have a wider footprint for a little more stable platform and provide easy access to attached toe clamps. The precision machine sides on the other vices allow the vise to be mounted vertically to clamp taller parts and machine features on the ends of workpieces. We carry two four inch wide models, one with a five inch opening and precision machine sides for vertical mounting and the Haas by Kurt four inch, which has a 6.5 inch wide opening and has the flange style base. We also carry two eight inch wide fixed jaw vices. Both have the flange base. The Haas by Kurt eight inch wide vise has a 10 and 5 eighths inch opening and the other has a 10 inch wide opening. Then we have our six inch wide vices. The six inch is the most commonly used vise size in most shops and we have these available in multiple opening widths as well. The Haas by Kurt six inch vise has a nine inch opening. This is a flange style vise. Our other choices of six inch wide vices are eight inch opening available in flange base style and also the precision machine side style. We also offer a shorter version of the six inch wide vise with a six inch opening. This one also has machine sides. There are several factors that go into choosing which fixed jaw vice is right for you. The maximum clamp force of all of these vices is relatively close, so that's not really a consideration. In my mind, I start with size. I'm not gonna buy an eight inch wide vise when all my parts are under four inches wide. Also, what size machine is the vise gonna go on? There's no sense buying a six or eight inch vise for a tool room mill. Also, will you be moving the vise between several different machines? If so, you may want to skip the eight inch vise because at roughly 150 pounds or 68 kilos, taking it in and out of the machine requires some effort. Finally, do you need to set the vise on its side to clamp parts vertically? Well then, the vise with machine sides will likely make the most sense for your application. Okay, now let's talk about self-centering vices. They also provide accurate, repeatable location, but are smaller and generally used with rotary tables. Mounting a self-centering vise on the center of a rotary table will allow workpieces mounted in the vise to be on center as well. Two models of self-centering vices are available on HaasTooling.com. Both are made of tool steel with precision machine surfaces. One comes with hardened steel jaws that have a 45 degree dovetail shape and serrated edges for more secure gripping of work pieces. The other, Haas by Jurgens Vice, has hardened steel quick change jaws that use serrated inserts to grip the work piece. Steel and aluminum machinable soft jaws are available for both models and they both have an available 100 millimeter, approximately four inch, 
tall riser to get the workpiece farther away from the rotary platter. This is the perfect setup for fourth and fifth axis machining operations where you need to access multiple sides of a workpiece in the same setup. For me, the decision to choose one over the other comes down to the dovetail configuration of the hard jaws. I like gripping my five axis parts in a dovetail for minimum stock usage and maximum machining access, so I usually go with this one. But when I'm using machinable jaws, I'll usually pick the Haas by Jurgens since it features both a quick change jaw system and jaws that are reversible so you can utilize both ends of the jaw. Okay, now let's turn to automatic work holding options. In this case, the term automatic means the vices can be actuated, open or closed, from within a program via M code, specifically M70 to clamp and M71 to unclamp. The options to configure a machine with automatic work holding all include a foot pedal for manual operation. The devices can also be actuated through the work holding tab on the current commands page in the control. This is where you define which work holding device you have, vice clamp and unclamp time, as well as OD and ID gripping. We have automatic work holding devices actuated by pneumatics, electric motors, or a hydraulic power unit. From now on, I'm going to refer to them as air vice, e-vice, or hydraulic vice. In order to install and control these automatic vices on a machine, the machine needs to be configured to accept the device. Therefore, these vice options are not available on HaasTooling.com, but must be ordered specifically for the machine. We do have field install kits available through your local Haas factory outlet to configure existing machines with much of the pneumatic or hydraulic work holding I'm going to talk about. Air vices on vertical machining centers require the programmable air option. This option allows you to control the Haas air vices or any pneumatic device directly from the Haas control. On UMC models, the air vice ready option is required instead of programmable air. This is because on a UMC, air vices require a pneumatic rotating union to deliver air through the center of the rotary platter. E vices require E vice ready option, and the hydraulic vice requires the hydraulic vice ready option. Hydraulic vice ready includes a hydraulic rotating union and the hydraulic power unit that can be used to control third-party hydraulic devices. So, as you might expect, hydraulic vice is more expensive to implement, roughly twice the price of air or electric. Hydraulic vice is an eight inch, two jaw hydraulic chuck, but the jaws are actually six inches wide. Hydraulic vice is only available on UMC models. Air vices are available on UMC models and most VMC models, while electric vices are only available on those VMC models. All three types work well in robotic or automatic parts loaded applications, but the slight advantage goes to e vice because the control can sense load on the vice motor. This motor load indicates that the vise has physically clamped on a workpiece, or more importantly, the absence of motor load indicates that it has not. In this case, it will produce an alarm. Air vise and hydraulic vise are only capable of detecting if the vise is in the clamped or unclamped state. Now let's talk about some specifics. The air vices are available in 100 and 150 millimeter jaw widths, basically four and six inches wide. Both of these, along with the hydraulic vise, are self-centering style. The five inch wide E vise is also self-centering. Both the four and six inch E vices are fixed jaw vices. All of our automatic work holding devices come standard with a set of hardened steel vise jaws. The jaws on the self-centering vices have a 45 degree dovetail shape and serrated edges for extra gripping power. 
The hardened steel jaws on the fixed jaw vices are blank jaws like those provided with most fixed jaw vices. We have machinable steel and aluminum soft jaws available for all the vices. Haas Automation also has options to add pneumatic devices to a TRT-210 and TRT-310 two-axis rotary table. In these cases, you don't order programmable air with the machine, you order the specific option with the rotary table. First, we have a manual air clamping provision, which includes a pneumatic rotating union, external air hoses, and a pneumatic toggle switch to manually control the clamp and unclamp. Use this option to manually control aftermarket pneumatic devices. There is also an automatic air clamping provision, which includes the rotating union, external hoses, but also has the solenoid, regulator, and foot pedal. This option provides full control over the pneumatic device automatically with M codes or manually with the foot pedal or through the work holding tab on the control. For the TRT-210, we have a 75 millimeter air vice kit manual and 75 millimeter air vice kit auto options. These are the same as I just described, but they include a 75 millimeter, approximately three inch wide air vise for the TRT-210. For the TRT-310, we have a 100 millimeter air vise kit manual and 100 millimeter air vise kit auto options. Then, to really make things interesting, we have our zero point kits, both manual and automatic, which are for the TRT-210 only. These provide pneumatic zero point clamping options for that rotary union. Both kits come with one blank zero point fixture plate and we offer additional blank fixture plates with pull studs in sets of five. Please review the drawing of the industry standard pull stud we use to determine compatibility with third party zero point systems. I know I provided a ton of information in a very short period of time, so visit HaasCNC.com to review all this information in detail. Be sure to use the Learn More buttons to see everything available for a particular model of machine or rotary, and use the Build and Price button to configure a model with your desired options. This is where you'll find out which options are required and whether they are compatible with a particular device. So, to review, manual work holding vices are available on HaasTooling.com with fixed jaw vices in four, six, and eight inch wide models. There are also two self-centering choices, both five inches wide. Automatic work holding must be ordered for a machine. They're available in air, electric, and hydraulic versions. Machines must be pre-configured to accept automatic vices. They work great in robotic loading applications and provide consistent, repeatable clamping, even if manually loaded by an operator. Okay, pros and cons of each. Hydraulic is the most expensive, provides high maximum clamp force, but doesn't have positive clamp confirmation. Pneumatic is half the cost of hydraulic. The 150 millimeter air vise has the highest maximum clamp force of any automatic work holding we offer, and like the hydraulic, does not provide positive clamp confirmation. Electric, on the other hand, is about the same cost as pneumatic, has medium range maximum clamp force, and will give an alarm if the vise does not contact the workpiece when clamping. And just to clarify, all of these devices can be monitored to determine if they are in a clamped or unclamped state, but electric vice is the only one that will alarm if the vice does not actually grip the workpiece. Please contact your local Haas factory outlet with any questions and to find out more information. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.